BlizzCon 2018. A place for all things Blizzard, like Overwatch, Hearthstone, and WoW. And most importantly, the announcements. Such as McCree, but female. Do you guys you not have, have phone? phones? Yeah, have and Lucio cereals. Oh yeah, one more thing. Reworked campaign. Upgraded visuals. Four hours of reforged cutscenes. The hype is on. Oh baby! Uh, yes sir! Nearly one BlizzCon later, the beta rolls in. Few bugs and crashes here and there, but it's going in the right direction. Um, the application encountered an unexpected error. Maybe a new year. It's finished. Then the big surprise came. It releases on January 28th. Some people could already smell the incoming shitstorm. They are planning to release on January 28th. I was like, one month? They needed a year. What followed is one of the biggest screw-ups in video game history. Let's start with the funny. The bugs. Play the campaign? Disconnect. Playing in an esports match? Disconnect. Not twice, not thrice, but eight times in one event. Start the campaign? Defeat. Change settings? Defeat? Forgot to download Counter-Strike Source? This is fine. Ultra-wide monitor support? Triple A animations? Invisible enemies? Flying towers. <laughs> Volcano spawns on other volcanoes. It's better that way. Can't play the map Booty Bay in custom maps because booty is a naughty word. Even the ads have bugs. They misspelled Lord Run. But it gets better. The clients of the old and the new version were merged and it had the same results when Blizzard merged with Activision. Even people who didn't buy Reforged got the new client and had to download 27 gigabytes of Reforged. If you had the original Warcraft 3, it just gets overwritten by the new patch and you cannot play the original anymore. <laughs> the only way you can play the original Warcraft 3 is to have the original CD and get it from there. This player's PC could not handle the Force Reforged um, upgrade. And Blizzard just told him to get it, to get a new PC. Have Warcraft 3 anywhere near Battle.net and the update destroys it. Blizzard managed to unfinish a finished game after more than a decade? How? Integral features that the original Warcraft 3 had were simply removed. Clans, profiles, competitive play, custom campaigns and more are gone. You can still play PvP, but only a quick play mode. If you play 2v2, you can be matched against two people who have never played with each other, or a team that knows each other's playstyle on Synergize as well. So if you play with someone you know, you have an immediate advantage. And to be able to play a ladder, you have to use community-made sites that have their own ranking systems like W3 Champions. That's pretty bad, but at least we have the cutscenes. Right? How can you even consider that? Nope, just a few ones, and most of them are upscaled from the original. The trailer cutscene from BlizzCon 2018 is not even in the game, but it is still on the website on release, shortly after they removed it. Well, only kind of, because you can still see the cut cinematic on playwarcraft3.com today if you scroll far enough. And that's it, no cutscene. Well, only kind of, because the cinematic can be found in the game files, meaning the 27 gigabyte patch has content you never get to see in it. But, but, we, we, we do get the rework campaign, right? We just, we weren't happy where we were, where we were going with that kind of culling treatment as it became talked about in the office, and, and we decided to dial it back a bit. Should I even ask about the UI? For fuck's sake! A oh, quick side note, do you know the EULA? The thing that you need to read in order to basically do anything nowadays? Warcraft 3 Reforged has one too. Nothing surprising here until you actually read it. Custom games are and shall remain the sole and exclusive property of Blizzard. Without limiting the foregoing, you hereby assign to Blizzard all of your rights, title, and interest in and to all custom games, including but not limited to any copyrights and the content of any custom games. In short, it says that if you make something within this system, it's mine. Everything that you put in here is mine. They don't even have to mention your yeah, fucking so like name. My... And why did Blizzard do that? Because the custom map editor in the old Warcraft 3 is responsible for MOBAs like League and tower defense games like Clash of Clans. Game is shit, cutscenes are shit, bugs are shit, user agreement is shit. And the graphics are actually not so shit. Blizzard did at least that right, except they didn't. Almost all of the art was outsourced. So everything you see in the game is bought by Blizzard, supervised by Blizzard, but not made by Blizzard. Except for the cutscenes. So we went back to the drawing board, we took these concepts as our base, and then we redid the orc until we got to a point where we really liked them. 
Knowing what I said really gives this another vibe, doesn't it? The people who actually did the art are Lemon Sky Studios. They worked on really good games like Demon Sword Remastered and Mortal Kombat 11. However, it's not really surprising that you can put a mobile game ad over this and actually think it's real. Raid Shadow Legrest is a free-to-play RPG PvP PvE video game on your phone. See what I mean? Everything points to the game being rushed. So rushed that to change your hotkeys, you have to use a TXT file and edit that. So rushed that the beta is still mentioned in the final release. So rushed that they didn't have dedicated servers for Australia. So rushed that the classic graphics campaign and Reforged graphics campaign use different save files. Want to go to the old graphics on the fly? Play the whole game again. People are disappointed and want their money back. And Blizzard <coughs> Activision did the most responsible thing they could. Remember, no refunds. So they ran. Want a refund? I'm afraid that this Blizzard account is ineligible for refunds of any kind at this time. We will not be able to refund any product on this account for the time being. People in the forums were caught in the crossfire. Asking for a refund guide or answering such threats would be met with a ban. Blizzard makes their escape and will keep all the money. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Or was it? I want a refund. I want my fucking money. After all the backlash, they gave in. Now everyone gets an automated refund. But even that is bugged. Because the Redditor got not just Reforged refunded, but the original Warcraft 3 too. An 18 year old game. All of this fueled the outrage even more and resulted in one of the lowest scores in Metacritic history. People made accounts just for downvoting this one game. Allow me to read some of the more... Hmm, interesting reviews to you. <coughs> Stonks of Blizzard going down. Good job. The worst game ever. I've lost my month's salary. Not good, Blizzard. All I have to say is... My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Even pirating the game left a very sour taste in my mouth. I can't wait to put a bullet in my skull. This is not a new game. This is just another communist Fortnite. Fuck, Blizzard. OMG. Suck of the decade. Fucking normies! <laughs> I'm not angry. Just disappointed. D Dad? How dare you! It literally gave me cancer. There are malicious cells invading my body and destroying my organs because this game was so bad. Over four hours of reforged cutscenes and an updated UI. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god, stop fucking lying! And my personal favorite. Game suck door! Blizzard apologized. That you did not have the experience you wanted! It is not Blizzard's fault, it is yours. First off, we want to say we're sorry to those of you who didn't have the experience you wanted. We're sorry to those of you who didn't have the connection you wanted. We're sorry to those of you who didn't have the four hours of Reforged cutscenes you wanted. J. Allen Bragg said in an earnings call that we stand behind our games. It's been five months! Since the last update, Blisk Online 2021 had no news about the game, but it had a user-generated showcase of... One map! The hashtag W3 Reforged Never Forget was deleted by moderators during the BlizzCon stream. The last mention of Warcraft 3 Reforged was at an interview with J. Allen Brack. Given by what we have actually seen, this statement needs to be taken with a grain of salt. And that's the video. Hope you liked it. Uh, sorry for the abrupt ending, because I <laughs> literally cannot think of a good ending. What I didn't talk about yet was the Warcraft 3 refunded website, a complete parody website of playwarcraft3.com, and the mismanagement from the higher-ups uh, of the dev team. The dev team basically didn't have a chance. They knew that they were going to bring out a, a broken game. And as a sorry for the abrupt ending, have fun with the reviews that have not made it into the video. This sh game is the cause of the coronavirus in Wuhan. You, Blizzard. Reforged. This is a joke. Over downgrade. Dick. My friends, Blizzard. My. So hard. Disappointment. Want cash back. Please hit. Give back original, please. This is not. Well, he, he, he literally just. Uh, he stopped it mid sentence. Roses are red. Blizzard is blue. All I got to say is shame on you. A really good game. Sad face. This is not a good game. Blizzard, what have you done? It's a bigger disappointment than my friend, and he is a fucking disappointment. So this game is really a no-no. Advertising, false. Old Warcraft 3, messed up. Bugs, yes. Improvements, no. Everything is on fire, yes. Yee, 
Hall. And my personal favorite, Game Sog Burr.